this short video I'd like to illustrate how one can set up a custom content center library <clears throat> and then copy over the structure of the existing content center libraries to place new components. So if I click on the projects panel I find my current project and I can configure the content center libraries using this button here and we can see that we've got several here that are either unavailable or that I'm not going to need. So for this example I can go ahead and turn off the different libraries that I don't need in this project. This will make the libraries more or make a smaller number of libraries and also should make the content center more snappy and responsive. So I'll go ahead and leave that. I am also going to uh, introduce the last library and then I'll hit OK. So then you go ahead and save that to accept the changes and now we're configured with at least a couple of custom content center libraries and we can now take the steps of creating a structure or copying a family. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the tools tab and I will launch the content center editor. Within the content center editor I have a, several different things that I can do. I can <clears throat> create a new library structure and copy families over or I can create a new library structure and publish new content like structural data etc or I can just simply copy a new family over so in this exercise I want to copy the overall <coughs> uh, framework for the design so what I'm going to do is look at one of my class custom libraries and you can see that I've got fasteners, bolts, and then round heads. So it copied the structure as well as a family. Or I can simply copy the structure, but then not actually have any families copied over. So you have the freedom to do both. So what I plan on doing eventually is publishing a custom frame component. And so to get that set up the way I want, I'm going to have to create my own category. So I'm going to go back to the merged view and I'm going to find the tube and pipe. I'm going to, or actually, I'm sorry, structural shapes. And I'm going to say, let's say a tube, square and rectangular tube. And what I'm going to actually do is instead of copying one of these families and modifying it, I just want to right click and I'm going to copy the structure to my class project. And what this does is it allows me to grab that structure and now we'll see we've got structural shapes, squared rectangular tubes, and then I can create my own subcategories from there. And I can say Pete Custom. And you could apply an image if you want and it will save it to your custom content center library wherever you're using whether that's vaulted content or in this case I'm using desktop content. I click OK and now I've got my custom shape. So go ahead and click done in my content center editor and just to show you what this looks like I'll go ahead and start a new part and let's make a custom tube so I'll create a sketch and I'll just use a, a simple slotted shape so we'll do a center point slot like so and we'll say that that's one inch and give that a diameter of one inch and so we've created an interesting shape and now I'll offset that we'll say by 0 0.0625 and now we've got a finished shape we can extrude that pick this outer edge length equals say six inches and then once we've got that we can save it just a quick aside if you ever are going to create content center data I always like to save them as base models. That way if I have to come back and make edits I can come back and publish a version really quickly.
So we'll just say oval tube. <clears throat> and then I'll just publish it really quickly. So if I go here to oh, here we go. It's gonna change that to a structural. Sorry. Forgot what I was doing there for a second. So category. And this is where we can come in here and we can say, ah, Pete Custom. So that was really the whole point of setting up the structure is to be able to place that custom component. And then we'll map the parameter, the length is mapped to PL, and I'll go ahead and publish it. So again, just to save a little bit of time, but now we can use that. We're going to set it in that custom. Most of this should already be set up. Just pass that over. <clears throat> Oval tube, we'll put this as the PEAT standard, just to be able to find it potentially easier. And then I'll go ahead and publish it. So now when we look at the editor, when we go in here to the Pete custom category, you can see now that we've got that oval tube has been published to our custom category. So that's just a really quick way to set up your structure and then publish your own content. In the other video, or in another video, I will eventually show that you can copy a family over and then make whatever customizations you want to that family. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps and have a blessed day.